Social entrepreneurship for me is doing business with a heart for the people. And for me, I care more about the people we employ than the business itself. Now, Cafe Antonio started back in 2008 with a business uh, mindset or philosophy where we will employ uh, students who are either uh, out of school or looking for a part-time job, specifically UP students. Now, I was keen on doing this back then because I wanted my friends, especially my friends from UP, to have other sources of income aside from their allowance. And also, one of the primary reasons why I was motivated to do this business is that so they can have um, a chance to start a career when they graduate. Um, in 2008, when we were back in uh, Grove uh, Los Banos, in our first branch, most of our employees were students, and some of them were fresh grads also. Now, when you graduate from the university, you don't have a job um, immediately. So, as a business uh, owner, I have this um, opportunity or this capability to employ people and I will tell them you can work in the cafe first while you're looking for a job. Now I was happy I was able to do this to start the careers of people and to give them a springboard uh, for their future careers whatever it is but for me um, my philosophy was when you start your um, career in coffee you, you will build lots of um, opportunities in, in, in spite of um, what career track you would uh, pursue. Now, the business philosophy of the cafe evolved uh, through the years. In right now, 2017, we've been operating for um, eight years already. And uh, through the years, we've been uh, going from one place to the other. 2008 to 2009, we were at Grove, in Lopez Avenue. 2009 to 2011, we were at uh, LB Square, then 2012 we moved here in Maahas. And then until now we're still here, now we're expanding inside the campus in the Circa Main Building and in Circa Hotel. Now throughout those, uh, those years, um, we've been e experimenting with a lot of um, ways to help our community. Now, at first uh, we were not really um, intentionally um, wanting to make a significant impact with the Los Banos community. But I think because I grew up here in Los Banos and I'm a graduate in, uh, of UPLB, um, I have this heart for the people. And then, um, so we started of thinking of ways of how to involve the community more in the operations of the cafe. In 2009, we decided to start a community for artists. We called it Cafe Antonio Sessions. Now, I, as a musician also, um, I wanted uh, local Los Banos based artists to have the cafe as a platform for their performances, for their album launch, um, and their promotions. I want them to start in the cafe, and the cafe will help them provide uh, a venue for their um, performances. Now, a lot of artists uh, went there, now, now uh, they are successful, and some of them uh, have launched uh, their respective albums already. And this, is, isn't, this isn't possible without the support of the, of the people who believed in us and uh, who went to, cafe, to the cafe to, um, to, to perform. Now, that was just a phase together with uh, the, the staff that I was with and my business partners. And eventually we will, um, we evolved into another, um, into another model. In 2012, um, we decided to help local farmers um, have a venue for their vegetables. So from music to agriculture. So we, as the cafe grows uh, older, we mature as people also. So we decided to have, uh, to support another advocacy as well. So, because uh, the cafe has, ev has evolved and our menu has expanded, um, there's an opportunity for local farmers to supply us with uh, organic vegetables. Now, during that time, I was also involved in organic agriculture. So, 
I started planting uh, some vegetables for cafe. So for the cafe, so I uh, started uh, selling to the cafe what I can grow, and then some local farmers also supply lettuce, uh, basil, tomato, and we felt really glad that um, we were able to uh, purchase their their produce. At least they have an outlet for for their hard work. Though we do not buy a lot of vegetables, at least we know that. Um, at least we know that we have this uh, capability or this ability to, to support these local farmers. And then eventually, it's not just vegetables that we buy. And because I co-own the cafe, we were able to enable other small businesses to display their products inside the cafe. So um, they feel that they have their own space here inside the cafe that where they can showcase their, uh, their talents. And now, um, as the caf as the cafe um, matures, we can now see the the effects of how uh, Cafe Antonio has been part of the Los Banos uh, community, and the support just keeps on um, uh, growing. And we're very we're very happy that uh, a lot of people has considered Cafe Antonio as their uh, second home, and now that the cafe is um, being managed by my business, uh, my business partner and sh she's a chef also and she's the one trying to expand the advocacy of the cafe carrying on what we've started in the beginning and now we, ha we expanded inside the campus and we're trying to, to pass on the spirit that we, that, we, uh, that we had at the beginning in 2008 until now. So the cafe um, though we understand that when you have a business, you need to profit, but when the focus of your business is really to help people and look for other ways and creative ways to reach out to people, support their businesses, support their own their their passions, then I think you could not uh, go wrong with that because eventually the the profits will follow. So hopefully, um, other businesses will not be blinded by the reward of, um, of high income that they generate from their businesses, but rather they, sh they would have a heart for serving people instead of just serving themselves. Oh, one of the challenges is that when you have people at the center of your business is how to actually profit from it because a lot of sacrifice um, needs to be done, especially in the part of the owners, because in your desire to help people, you have to um, simplify a lot of things, especially personally. Now, um, when you focus on the development and the growth of other people, you need to learn how to take less and learn how to live with less, knowing that um, the driving force behind um, what you're doing is the happiness of others. So the main challenge is um, how to simplify your life and not fall into the temptation of how you will gain profit at a very short time. Uh, one advice is that I could give is you start your business in the community where you live. Because f personally, I think when you're not from here or from the community, it's hard to establish a rapport. Plus, you really don't have, um, what do you call this, um, roots or some history with the community, so it's hard to build a rapport with people. An advantage for Cafe Antonio is we grew up here since we were elementary, high school, college, until um, when we were working, when we were adults, we're still here. So we, we literally grew up here. So we know the people, we know the culture, and it's, I can't say it's easy, but it helps that um, you know your people. So my advice is for uh, entrepreneurial startups is um, look for a way to start a business in your community. So because most businesses, they look for a place where they can um, earn profit. Uh, those places with high traffic or the, with the most uh, potential for, um, for income or volume of people. But if you stay in your community and believe in them that they will uh, support you, um, I think that um, the people will, will respond to you in a positive way. Just like what happened to us, even though that we're almost uh, operating for almost uh, a decade, even though we're not profiting uh, that big yet, at, l at least uh, the business is being sustained 
and um, we haven't closed down yet even though we have lots of struggles but we can always rely on the community to to support us so for scaling down i think look for ways um, how to help your community through your business if there's a social entrepreneurship program there's a um, a significant part of the design should focus on building the values of the entrepreneur. I'm not so much um, in, that, in the technical side, but also that's important. But the values of the entrepreneur really dictates what will happen to the establishment. So we can assess that immediately during a course, what the heart of the entrepreneur is. You can uh, feel it in the student or in the person and then um, um, immediately you know what kind of uh, business that he or she is thinking about. Now when you focus on the values, uh, inculcating values um, and um, ethics also in the program, I think that will help um, shape the entrepreneur and really it will make him, uh, him or her realize that entrepreneurship is really social so it's not just um, there there's no dichotomy between entrepreneurship and social entre entrepreneurship I think all entrepreneurship needs to be social because for entrepreneurs are the most influential people on the earth because um, the, the world um, functions because of uh, entrepreneurs like us we generate jobs we generate products and then we help build the, the economy. So there is so much power at the hands of entrepreneurs. Now imagine this kind of power will be in the hands of people who don't have values. Imagine that the world that we will be living right now. So it's important that the values of these entrepreneurs are well established. They know what they are doing. They know the motivations behind their business. And then it should be, um, it should be clear to them why they are doing their business in the first place. Now, if those values are twisted or skewed, then I think there will be negative consequences in the, in the business model. So this, was, this is what will happen. You will tend to exploit people. You will tend to exploit resources if you don't have these values. Now, if you're very sensitive um, about these things, then I think um, you will have a successful uh, enterprise or a business. Hello, ito yung coffee bar namin. So, ito yung heart and soul ng aming cafe. So, meron kaming mga manual brewers dito for our brewed coffee. Then, meron kaming espresso machine na nagpo-produce ng uh, halos lahat ng aming uh, drinks. Ngayon, papakailala ko sa inyo yung aming uh, staff. Si Elmer, uh, graduate siya ng food tech sa LSPU in San Pablo. Actually, siya yung um, pumalit sa job ko because I used to be yung uh, bar manager dito in charge of the development ng mga beverages. Now, um, nung nag-aral na ako, si Elmer yung pumalit sa akin as, uh, as the head barista and the bar manager. And also, um, he's able to apply what he learned in school. And through the years, matagal na rin si Elmer sa amin since 2011. Nakapag-join na rin siya ng national competition before in uh, sa barista uh, competitions. So, si Elmer, eh, pakilala ka niyan. Uh, I'm Elmer. Uh, ayun nga yung bali yung sinabi ni Kay Davis. Bali, ito yung second job ko sa Cate Antonio. Then, uh, experience ko, medyo wala akong alam sa coffee. Then, si Kay Davis lang yung nag-train sa akin, natuto. Then, bali, marami siyang tinuro sa akin. Then, na-apply ko naman sa mga bagong empleyado na nag-apply dito. Hmm. And then, um, first day dito nung younger brother niya, si Nico. So, iti-train namin siya ni Elmer since mag-open kami ng two other branches. So, at least sa fam within the family din, uh, masuportahan din siya ni Elmer by giving his younger brother an uh, opportunity to work here. So, Nico, pakilala ka na. Hi, Nico. Um, I'm graduating information technology. Bali, nag-aaral pa din po ako ng administration na kinukuha ko po sa DLSP, Dalubhasaan ng Lungsod ng San Pablo. Hmm. Um, I'm 23 years 
Hmm. So ngayon nagte-train siya maging uh, barista. Kasi I find yung pagiging barista na it's an eye opener for me kasi nung nag-train ako maging barista doon na open yung eyes ko sa entrepreneurship, sa organic agriculture, sa environment. So I believe na uh, at magandang starting point itong pag-appreciate ng mga natural resources natin tulad ng ng coffee. So eto lang maliit lang yung aming cafe at uh, nakakapag-seat kami ng 30 people at a time. So pakita lang din ni Elmer kung paano gumawa ng coffee gagawa siya ng ng isa para sa atin. Uh, Elmer ano? Mag-extract po tayo ng So ayan, nagsi, nagsi-steam ng milk si Elmer. So ang ginagawa ng steaming, hinihit niya yung milk, just nag-texture siya ng milk. So para magkaroon yung um, creaminess yung milk. So para siya, yung texture niya parang tunaw na ice cream. So ayan, ipopour niya dyan sa, sa cup to make the cappuccino. Yung process na yan, yung mga pinag ni Elmer for a long time din. Ngayon, siya na yung nagtitrain ng mga bagong barista namin. Ayan. 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 So, yung process na yan, yung tatry namin uh, turo kay Nico. Now, it involves a lot of art and science para uh, pag-aralan yan. Me, myself, um, nag-train ako sa Singapore two times and locally also to study how to make uh, coffee this way. And yung lahat ng mga knowledge na natutun natutunan ko over the years, pinapasa ko kanila Elmer at sa mga naging barista namin. Kasi um, isa din sa mga advocacy ko, ayaw ko mag ng information. Gusto ko lahat ng natutunan ko, napapasa ko rin sa ibang tao para ma-empower sila na ituro din to sa ibang tao. Kaya, um, it's up to them if they want to pursue their career, either dito or in other places. Ang mahalaga, nasa kanila yung information na yun at uh, magiging valuable yun sa kanilang pagtuturo ng ibang tao. So, yeah.